Hey there, I'm Richard Byrne. As some of you know, I've been fighting a copyright issue with a website that is convinced that republishing my entire articles is okay because I have an RSS feed that distributes them, uh, which is a baseline misunderstanding of the purpose of RSS and how to reuse someone's work respectfully in a way that doesn't violate copyright. Well, anyway, that site doesn't seem to get it. So what I've been doing is filing copyright infringement notices with Google. What this does is it penalizes that website for using copyrighted content without permission if Google agrees with me, and they have in every case so far. So here's how to fill out this form. Uh, it's really important. Uh, first of all, you need to have the address of the infringing content and you need to have the address of your own original work. So in this case, I published this article back on March 31st. So I'll just go back to my website where I originally published the article. And the fact that I have to keep doing this is actually kind of ridiculous. But uh, anyway, so I originally published that article back on March 31st and so there's my original article all right so now we go to Google's webmaster tools for copyright removal and I have this linked up down below the video here or I will okay. so I'm just gonna go and fill this out you know, it's exactly what it says and you know in my case I do have an LLC so I want to make sure I put that in there Now, in most cases, most of you watching this are going to verify that you are the real copyright holder, that is, it is your work. Uh, this, co this other option is if you are enlisting the help of an attorney or some other agent on your behalf. But if you're doing this yourself, it's going to be self, pretty self-explanatory. Put in your email address. And my email address is pretty easy to find on the web, so I'm not worried about sharing it in a video here. And of course, where do you live? All right. United States. All right. So now describe my original work. Okay. And so you, you're going to need my original work here. Okay. All right, so now in some cases you'll want to be a little bit more descriptive if it's a particularly long article that you've found someone has <clears throat> used you'll need to be a little bit more descriptive than what I am here but for a short article and particularly anything that has an original image that you've created that you own uh, you don't need to put in a whole lot here now it is important. I'm going to need the link to my original work. Okay. And then down below the address of the infringing material. And before I submit this, I'm just going to make sure one last time, I'm going to refresh it and make sure that one last time it is still up because otherwise Google will say we can't find it. Right. Okay. So it's still up. And then you need to just promise that you are being truthful, that you have a good faith, uh, you're making a good faith statement, and put in the date. Today is 4-30-2019. Make sure your name appears the same way down here in the signature field as it does up here at the beginning of the contact. Submit it. I'm not a robot. And away we go. And we'll get this little legal request. And you'll have a little dashboard of where you can see URLs that are being reviewed. Right? Now, in this case here, last time I reported this group of seven URLs, the person then went and removed them so that Google couldn't index them. So they had the uh, intended, intended outcome for me in which they removed it from the web. 
So that's how you can file a copyright removal notice with Google. If you have any questions about how to do this, if you're fighting a similar scenario, you're finding your work republished online somewhere, I am more than happy to try to help you out with this. Uh, just send me a note, uh, richard at burn.media or richardburn at freetechforteachers.com, and I'm happy to try to help you out. Again, I'm not a lawyer, but I'll try to help you anyway.